Uh, and sometimes that bear truck pulls in and ANOC pulls in too. And the bear trucks, I don't know if you're familiar with these big metal containers that have the bearing. Inside the truck, inside the truck, not throwing on the street, because I think that we complained and they stopped doing that. But it, now it's inside the truck. They throw the truck is so big, they throw the, that metal container, and it sounds like a bomb going off. <laughs> and and as Anthony says, that's seven seven thirty in the morning. I mean, you can hear it clear down uh, North Margin and over to Endicott. Uh, the other issues uh, are, and I know, I, I know these are difficult issues, all I'm asking is that you work with the community to ameliorate them, correct them, mitigate them, whatever you need to do to, to, to make the quality of life better. But pizza crusts are discarded in boxes. I find one morning I came out of my building and I had a pizza box I almost broke my neck because it was on my set. Something you can't control, I know. But these are the issues that are irritating. And then, Anthony, I don't know if you're aware, but last summer, I don't know whether your air conditioner was out, but the windows were open. And you could hear people, music. I ask that that not happen. These are the issues that affect quality of life. It's very, very unsettling. I'm willing to work with you if you're willing to work with me. Okay. How this all ties in with the cordial application is, if you're going to have people there that are going to be drinking cordials, okay, is that going to require more deliveries, more delivery trucks? Uh, are there going to be more noise? So again, what I want to do is articulate, express my concerns about these issues and have them resolved. Thank you. Uh, do you have a trash barrel outside? Here? Yes, what we do is we have two trash barrels outside. We clean in the morning, we clean at night before we leave. We scrub the streets, we wash the streets, we hose it down, we go from we do that. one end all the way to the other end. And when the feast is there, we do it again. I mean, we try to be, I, we really do. I mean, I understand, you know, with Dom, your concerns. And, you know, I mean, Maybe, you know, the windows, I'm not sure because right now we have four different air conditioning systems. So, you know, whatever. It now, could have been a one-time thing. Could have been something. Uh, I'm not saying it wasn't. And, you know, what we do with the jukebox, we have a sign. The jukebox stops at 1030. Friday and Saturday, we close at 1230. By 11 o'clock, 1130 Friday, it's gone. There's no one in there. I mean, you, if anybody's been to the Regina's, you know the arena? She sits down, she's like the box is right in the front door. So I mean, there's an hour and a half. So there's no one in there. Yes. One thing we don't allow, we don't allow anyone there. I mean, I, I take it very personal about drinking because I run five restaurants that have full service rice and, and I'm kind of like, wow, going back being a, you know, a bouncer, we were years ago, but we won't allow them in there. We don't want that money. Can we oh, get rid of the benches? You know something, Don, I will. And I'll do it tonight we go back. Okay. I'll personally take them out with Richie. And I'll put it in. Okay. Be very happy. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna work. I mean, I'm a North End resident all my life. I'm still there. My mother's still there. I'm, I'm in the North End seven days a week. Well, a lot of people don't know we're practically family. I don't want to say too loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell too many people. That's right. That's right. It's awkward, but you know, that's uh, it's a legitimate concern. Yes, I would take care of those benches. I heard the pizzas are related there. <laughs> okay. Other questions? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm a direct abutter and I concur with what uh, Dominic has just said. There are a few other things I'd like to add as well. And um, why do you allow your patrons to take the paper cups out when they leave? A paper cup, the only thing that's a paper cup is soda or water. But they're all over the north end. They're a huge litter factor in the north end. And also, as Dominic said, pizza boxes. The second thing is, um, you have takeout. Yes. You don't have any place to park. So you have customers coming that are parking in fire lanes, handicap accesses, crosswalks, in front of fire hydrants. And I say, this is illegal. And they go, oh, we'll only be a minute. We'll only be a minute. 
Well, what would it take a couple Call of back, seconds for a fire to destroy one of our buildings? And it needs to be worked on. You know, it's a huge, huge problem. The third thing is, you need to get some type of electronic mechanism to notify your customers when tables are available. Because we are getting tired here. I have two seats in the bar. <laughs> no. Party of two. We have a party of two here. This goes on all night long. Do people go to bed early? You know, people have to get up early. Okay. And what Don said about the uh, the cakes of beer, Saturday morning, it's like a bomb going off at 7 o'clock. You know, and it's totally unnecessary. And then <clears throat> the streets on North Margin and Thatcher are very narrow. <coughs> it's brick and concrete. The noise comes out of your restaurant. Bounces off for the block and ricochets. The noise is deafening, and there's no need for it. You know, all I can say is thank God you have the only restaurant in the area. Because then um, we'd all be dead. And there's a reason why a lot of families have moved out with young children. Because they can't take the noise that's coming from the wrong place. So now you're going to start serving. <coughs> Yeah, patrons will be coming out totally recreated. And we're gonna have to listen to that. So anything you can do. Yes, absolutely. And it starts with the cordials. I mean, like I said, I'm very, very strict about that. Uh, managers will tell you, I mean, we fire managers right in the spot because we're not a bar. We're not a bar. We're just trying to do a service to some of our guests that come in. And if you notice the years, all the years right now in the North, I just left there right now, we're in there. There isn't one local person in there. I mean, there isn't one local North End resident. I don't see them anymore. They come to our method site. So I'm in there, and it's all the young kids, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's the people that live in all the buildings and all the condos where, you know, whatever. I mean, either daddy bought the condo, whatever. They go to school, they come in, they're great, they're great people, and they ask. So it was a need. So we've been having this for almost a year. And my, my thing about cordials, it's not making martinis, it's not using flavor boxes. I mean, I would stake my life on it. It's, that's not what we're doing. We're trying to do a, a, a string of Amaros. You know, you have Ferne Braca, and you have some Cinzani, you have certain, those are the type of things that they're asking. And some of these young kids of today, the millennials, whatever you want to call them, they're very, very bright. And, this, and they're going back, and this is what they want. They're not just, these are a little, they're up there. You know, and, and they want that, so we're trying to give them what they want. And I'll, I'll be honest, we don't deal with, with drunks. We won't allow them in there. There's a lot of people that come down the streets and they go, we won't even let them in there. They're out the door. I mean, there's all kinds of bars around us, and we just don't want We lock the doors. And sometimes if you people come in there, you'll see we have a key right in the lock. Even when after close, and it's in it. What do you want? You know, we're, you know, we're closed. But we're trying to be great neighbors. We've been there since 1926. Without a cultural yeah. But I would put just, you know something? Yes. Look at look at our, look on Hino Street. There wasn't many restaurants at all. They had certain little restaurants, my part, everyone. Now my understanding is a beer wine you can get a cordials with. I just want to be part of everyone and say, okay, I want to be great. The business has shrunk in the North End. The North End isn't what it used to be. Everyone's going to the seat book district. Everyone's going to the Your trash pick up time to after 8 o'clock in the morning. Our trash is picked up, what is it? 2.30 in the two, morning. Two, no, 2 in the afternoon time. 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock in the morning on that on that side you picked up, right? So now we're going to have to listen to all the cordial bottles. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be many cordial bottles. If we have six bottles up there, Romaros, I mean, they even have it on tap. Certain, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's certain wow. types of cordials on tap that they have. I want to get a tape recorder. Yes. Yes, you come right up. I'm on Sheet Street. My family's been there for 90 years. I'm right there. My mother's still there. And same thing. No restaurants, nice and quiet. Oh, we had our share. We had our share of the stories. Yeah. I just want to say, I'm not a director, but but my, my, I grew up on Prince Street when I went to space, not imagine, and the Cross Street. Um, and I, my mother chose to raise me here in spite of all the noise in the restaurant. So, I just want to say, you're a good neighbor as long as I 
living in North End, and I think um, Andy is a good help too with Regina. I think it's been great for charities as well as residents concerned with um, the plan. I'd like to bring up a few things that are. Would you be able to give a card with the manager's phone number on it? Absolutely. Butters? Absolutely. When a particular <laughs> incident Absolutely. I will be at it. I know that Dominic, I got my card. Why not right say street management on yes. Endicott Street? Would you look at that? Management? Well, the lines. the lines, okay. Yes, that's something we've been talking about the last meeting, and we did look and say maybe there's a way that we can either do by texting a beeper system or some kind of a system to notify. So if they're walking around, whatever it may be, we will do that. And the days of the screaming and yelling, no. I mean, that, that's, that was 60s, 70s, you know, way back then. It has to change. I, I think he's talking about it's a long line. Right, and try to keep people them. People have to go on the street. Right. Congratulations on your food, because I like your food, and I'm glad to hear that you're supportive of North End causes, but I have to say I support these two people because my personal experience, I, I think, uh, no offense, but I think you do the worst job of all the restaurants in the North End of managing the waiting queue and the congestion around your restaurant. And what I had to do about a year ago was change my route. If I was going to Hilton's Tent City or Whole Foods or one of those places over in Bullfish Triangle Way, I, I had to start coming back through Haymarket and Salem to my house on Charter Street. I couldn't go down North Margin anymore because I just cannot get by that, that um, sidewalk. And the street is not an alternative. Because when you, get, when you walk out on the street because the sidewalk is so congested, then you have, you have cars start honking at you and stuff like that. I mean, the gall of some of these people, you know. I almost got in a fight there once with a guy behind me honking. And I just stopped and said, well, where the hell do you want me to go? I can't get by on the street because Pizza Regina never does anything about the queue waiting on the, on the sidewalk. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be a pain in the neck to you, but I contrast your approach to that with somebody like the Familia Giorgio, who was here last fall, and they got a 23 to nothing vote in favor of them because they've been so good in the way that they manage their relations with the, with the, with the people who live here. But I just think, I like your food, I'm glad to hear you're public spirited, but I think you do a terrible job managing those people. Thank you. We're waiting here. Okay, uh, Bob Cole, you Yeah, the, the question was gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> and your place seems, uh, I don't know what commercial seems like, your place seems so <coughs> terribly busy, I would think you wouldn't want cordials. You're absolutely right. So go <laughs> get them. They want them. They want them. They want them. They'll sit there longer. They'll sit all evening over. Can you imagine a college student asking for a friend at they do. They do. <laughs> I'll take you to a bar. I'll take but, you to a place that's citizens. I would, if I were you, I would want people out as soon as possible. Not sitting over the cordial. And you said there are a lot of bars in the neighborhood. All the bars that you want a cordial? Go to my neighbor's bar. He's a nice guy. Come here and have pizza. They're the best pizza in town. Wine and beer. Cordials? Who? We. Everybody's serving, everybody comes here and wants cordials. Next it will be full liquor licenses. Hey, as the lady said, everybody gets cordials. Next we'll have, hey, everybody has full liquor license. Why can't we have full liquor license? Everybody has them. Uh, stick to the beer and wine, your pizzas, you have two business with. 
cordial, we, we have enough cordials in the North End. One clarification. Why yours? <laughs> one clarification I might make is the cordials would just be added to the license they have now. No, no. If they wanted all liquor, they'd have to get them. Yeah, yeah I understand. Okay, thank you. Uh, David? Yeah, one question. Have you applied for your license amendment yet? And if you have, I certainly hope so. Uh, do you have a copy of it? I do. We applied today, actually. Um, we're on for a June 5th hearing for the Boston License Amendment. Mm -hmm. As, as a matter of fact, in the Regina's, you cannot serve a beer or wine without food. That's why the bar is only four or five seats. Everything has to be with food. Okay. Uh, so questions. Uh, anybody want to speak for or against specifically this proposal? I just make another comment. Go ahead, please. Uh, all due respect, I, and I know Ann is more direct than I am, but I grew up down there and, and I, I walked here myself. And, you know, they, they do, I believe, and I know John and Ann and Paul, so they do do a pretty good job at, uh, at the, the queue or the, the line queue. Because I do hear them say to them, I know they do shut out too at the bar or for the table, whatever they may be on the back. But I have always seen Lorena and London and others. And Richie say push in, and you know if I can't, that not, that strip sidewalk is now on that part of Pasture Street. Um, I walk on the other part of Pasture Street. Same thing do as um, on Hanover Street at Jack Demons, and everything. And that Tom Oyster, when they're opening at 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning, there's a line that that's probably 20, 20 people do. So I I think they do. Okay. Um, yeah. I just wanted a clarification. I was at the zoning uh, committee meeting, and the way I understood it was that the demand has been a consistent demand for some time of people wanting, instead of beer or wine, right. cordials, to have with their meal, as opposed to at the end of the meal, staying for another half hour or an hour to be yes. cordials. Which I didn't think, because you were talking about your volume, you see it in your sales volume. Right, because they you're, not, you're not expecting your turnover to change. The people are now going to be whatever your average time is on a Friday night, you know, 45 minutes. You wouldn't like it to be that's an hour and 45 minutes. Right, because right now what's happening, if they come in for a pizza, they're asking for a glass of water because right. we don't have, I don't drink wine, I don't drink this, do you have this? So it, it's becoming that type, as I said at the right. beginning. So, so that's, that's what the I'm not going to sit there. Right, you want to have with the meal. But you're not going to try and keep your turnover the same. Absolutely. Basically. If we don't, we won't be <laughs> Right, okay. Thank you. I heard it right. Yeah. Okay, so can we have a motion to vote yes or no in the vote? Second. Thank you. <coughs> we'll use the purple number one ballot. Circle uh, support if you support and oppose if you oppose. We have another one vote margin here. 15 support, 14 oppose. Wow. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.